Hello! Today I'm going to make butternut squash soup. I've never ever had one. Never. So I've looked online and uh, there's quite a few recipes and videos out there and because I'm Indian I need a bit of spice in my soup. So I'm going to reconstruct the ingredients and come up with something hopefully super amazing if not, I'm never ever going to try it again. Now for this butternut squash soup, aka a Tina Moon style, we've got the butternut squash. I've chopped up some, well one onion, finely chopped, and there's some three cloves of crushed garlic on top of that onion. Got some two red chilies, finely chopped, some coriander, a teaspoon of salt and for the Indian spicy bit we've got some zira powder or cumin powder about half a teaspoon and some red chili flakes a teaspoon of those and go across my cooker and I've got some chicken stock heating up over there and I've just used a cube a stock chicken stock cube so now I'm going to prep up this butternut squash and there is a method, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, to prep this butternut squash up, I've, been, I've looked online and what they do for an easy peel is to get a fork, skewer some holes in there and put it in the microwave for two minutes and let's just see how it works. Okay, so I've got the pumpkin out of the microwave, woohoo, it's a bit hot. I'm going to get my peeler. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this is easy. Oh, comes off lovely. Definitely try this. If you struggle, if you struggle peeling skin off a butternut squash, and it is hard work, try putting it in the microwave for two minutes. Prick it first with a fork, and then peel. Oh, that comes off nicely. So I'm going to peel the rest of this butternut, uh, butternut squash and then chop it up into cubes and I'll be back with you. Oh yeah, and remember, when you come to the seed bits, take those out, don't put them in your soup, okay? Okay, I've cut the uh, butternut squash up and it was very easy doing it that way. Um, you should try it. And in the pan, I forgot to say, you needed a knob of butter. Well, it's not a knob, uh, probably about a good chunk of butter. So we let that melt away in the saucepan for a little while, let it melt. It's melting nicely. And into that, I've got my onions and my chopped garlic. So there's three, three cloves of garlic that have been um, minced up, chopped can't get my words right and one onion chopped up and that goes in put that all in now my videos are not going to be professional <laughs> I'm doing it all one-handed so I'm sorry and uh, it's all and there's no takes there's no nothing I can't repeat this whole process over and over again so you get what you get and there you go I do prefer that. I prefer raw looking footages to the technical, uh, glitzed up, professional looking videos. So we let the onions and the garlic fry off in the butter. Now this could just take about a minute. So we just give that a fry. I have got one of those poppets at the end of my camera but I haven't got around to using it I'm just basically holding it so if you're wondering where my other hand is it's on the, on this camera on the phone rather I'm using my phone so we give that a stir and we can smell the garlic and at this stage I think I'm going to add in my dried spices which are the red chili flakes a quarter of a teaspoon of garam masala or zero whichever one you prefer and salt. So pop that in. Again, all one handed. Oh. -ho. And then give that a stir. 
Now you always put your dry spices in to have a little fry because it releases the flavours. There we go. Release those flavours. And you can smell it. So give them a quick little fry up in the bowl. Turn the heat down. Add the butternut squash. There goes the butternut squash in there. So I'm using one, one butternut squash. There it goes. There we are. That's quite a lot of it. It's a good job my friends are coming around tonight. Help me eat this. So in goes the butternut squash. Do 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 do. Give that a a little stir. I'm going to have to use the other hand, so I'm just going to put it on pause. And now I'm going to add in the red chilies. So in those go. Pop that in. Yeah. Now this is all an experiment. Um, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out, but I think it's going to be quite nice, quite delicious. So give that a stir. And then get the chicken stock which is just a cube a normal stock cube in water i let that heat up pour that in whoa it's going onto my cooker there we go pour that all in oh that's looking nice and let that bubble away for a while it should it should take they say about 30 minutes but you know you be the judge of that when the butternut squash is all cooked so I'll put the lid on and uh, I'll come back to it in about half an hour and see how it's doing right the soup's been blended up it's looking more like it yum 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 what I've got to do now is dish it up into my bowl and give it a taste Right, I'm going to give the soup a try. Da -da. It tastes like baby food. Oh, I don't think I could eat this. <laughs> and then here's the soup. Butternut, butternut squash soup. I put some cream in there and some coriander. I'm going to actually give this to my friend to try out. I thought it tastes like baby food, but I'm no soup fan, and she is, so I'll see what she says. Now that I'm eating it with a bit of cream and the coriander in it, it's tasting it a wee bit better. It's not something that I would try again, to be honest with you. I'm not a really big soup eater. It's not bad. It's not too bad. 